Hello you guys, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I have a confession to make. I was wrong about a beauty brand. When one celebrity makeup brand in particular was announced a couple of years ago, honestly, you guys, I'm gonna be real, I was not convinced. I didn't think it made a lot of sense for the person owning it. I didn't know what type of products she was gonna release or how it would actually work in the beauty space. But years later, my mind has been changed. After seeing so many huge successful launches, after seeing thousands of TikToks reviewing products, even after trying a lot of products myself and implementing them into my daily makeup routine, I can admit it, this doesn't happen very often, dare I even say it might be a rare occurrence for me, but I was definitely wrong. And in today's YouTube video, we're gonna be trying out a full face of Selena Gomez's rare beauty, because spoiler alert, it actually slaps. So this video today is gonna kind of be like a mixture of a couple of different things. It's gonna be a showcase of products I already love. It's gonna be a first impressions of some new products that I haven't gotten to try yet. And of course, an honest review throughout the process. So if you wanna see me do a full face of Rare Beauty makeup, let's get right into it. All right, you guys, let's get right into this makeup routine today. First and foremost, if you guys are excited for this, you better go ahead and give it a big thumbs up down below. This has been one of my most requested videos of all time. Like I said, every single time that I even talk about a Rare Beauty product in a video, the comments are flooded. So I am giving, I'm feeding you. Ma I am mommy and I am, I am feeding the children. What did he say? Oh. Let's get right into this makeup routine. First and foremost, we are gonna start off with the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist Illuminating Primer. I will say, I and I stand behind my thoughts on I really like a lot of the Rare Beauty products and the names aren't bad. Okay, I, I love the idea of the positivity and the encouraging messages, but personally, I think it's a little bit cheesy. That's just me. Am I, the, am I just a hater? <laughs> Would you rather say, always be a pessimist? <laughs> like, <laughs> and now that we're all primed and ready to go, I'm gonna use my Liquid Touch Weightless Foundation. I'm in the shade 200C. I'm hoping this is gonna be a good match for me. It does come with a Dofa applicator. It's not a great match for me. Not at all, actually. Oopsie. I feel like I've gotten worse shade matching. Like, I feel like we had a good couple of years where I was really like on the money every single time with accurate foundations. And now we've gone backwards. We're gonna have to make it work. It's the only foundation color that we got. I will be honest with you guys, the Rare Beauty Foundation is one of the products that I have already tried from the brand. It was a really long time ago when it first came out, but I do remember not loving it the first time around. So I'm hoping that today is better. Honestly, so far it's looking pretty good. So maybe it was on me the first time. Okay, now we're gonna add a little bit of color to the face using the warm Wishes Effortless Bronzer Stick. <sighs> I picked up the shade Bright Side today, which seems to be like the perfect neutral contour shade for me. I'm really excited because a lot of the other shades were actually sold out. This is the one that I wanted and it was there. So let's go right in. Oh, that's a really nice formula. It's very creamy. Ooh, it's blending really nicely. Ew, my hair, I need a fucking haircut now. Wow, that blends out so nicely. That is like actually crazy. Now I'm gonna go into my happy blush. Oh wait, what the fuck is this actually called? Oh, isn't it like the, so oh, it's the soft pinch liquid blushes, aren't they? Like a playful little like, gotcha. <laughs> you guys have seen me use these in my videos many times. I love these blushes. I think they are incredible. They are so highly pigmented. I really, really like them. And this is probably my favorite product from the Rare Beauty line, at least so far. I could, I could have a new top contender by the end of this video, who knows? But these are definitely amazing. And now we're gonna go in with our Liquid Touch Brush Brightening Concealer. Now, the reason why I'm doing this step in this order, I just glammed with one of my favorite makeup artists of all time, Louise Dollhouse, a couple of weeks ago, and he had a really interesting technique where, oops, this color is gonna be fucking crazy for me. Um, I was glamming with one of my favorite artists, Louise Dollhouse, and he did the concealer like last in the base routine, which I thought was so weird. And when I asked him why, he explained that he liked to do the blush first, because then when you blend out the concealer, it kind of like creates a light veil over it, which makes it look like the blush is coming from within, as opposed to like caked on the cheekbones. And I just thought that was really interesting technique that I've never seen before. So we're gonna try it out for ourselves today. So far, it's not my favorite concealer that I've ever tried. I do wish it was a little bit thicker and creamier. I feel like because it is so lightweight, it's not giving me really the coverage that I'm looking for. But in person, I'm still definitely seeing some discoloration from my under eyes coming through, as well as like the cheek, especially the beard region. I just got laser yesterday, so my facial hair is a little bit crazy right now. Finally, to set this all in place, our base routine is about to be complete. We are going to use the, get ready for this, Always an Optimist, Soft Radiance Setting Powder. I just, it's just the Rare Beauty Setting Powder. Whoa, look at that inside of there. It's like a twisty thing. <gasps> Whoa, okay, interesting. So you twist this way, it's covered, and then you twist this, 
And then the holes for the powder are in there. Every time that I have a setting powder, I literally take the sifter out altogether. I like to be able to dunk a powder puff and just grab a shit ton. But once again, I recognize that this brand is really targeted towards the everyday makeup girlies. So I'm not going to judge on different preferences. And we're just gonna go right in and set this in place. I definitely should have gotten the lightest shade because this light medium color is definitely too dark. In fact, it's literally turning my under eyes orange. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but in person, this looks really, really unflattering. It's also, I know it says it's a radiance setting powder. So it's not like I'm, you know, bamboozled by the effect by any means. But if I'm setting my face in place, I don't want radiance. I want it to be fully matte and locked in. And then I can add radiance later on with products like highlighter, like a reflective bronzer and stuff like that. I don't want my setting powder to be radiant because then that's going to cause a lot of problems and make my face look oily later on. So this setting powder is definitely not doing the job that I'd want it to be doing. I'm currently hating how my face looks, so I made the executive decision. Decision, sorry. I fucking bad. caught it, I caught it. I don't wanna hear it. <laughs> I made the executive decision to try to fix up my face a little bit, just because the first products were so good. The foundation looked amazing, the concealer looked pretty good when I blended it out, the blush, the contour, it was all really working well together. So we're going to, I'm gonna fix it, so that way the final result is an accurate representation of how good the products actually are minus the powder. I went in with some contour, we added some more liquid blush, used a different setting powder, and I think we got the face to an okay place that accurately represents the beauty of the brand. Okay, we're gonna ignore that setting powder, pretend like it never happened. Next product we have is the brows. So this is, oh wait, Brow Harmony Shape and Fill Duo. Okay, so this is what the product looks like. You open it up like this and you see the things inside. Oh shit, look at this. I think, is this correct? Look at this. Oh my God. Yeah. Yes, Gaga, you look so good. Oh my gosh, that is the craziest little... Okay, so she really said, let's make a product you can fit in your purse for brows on the go. I think this one's supposed to be more of like a pomade and this one's more of a powder. Okay, we're gonna... All right, the brows are all done. I just added a little bit of my... What the f is this called? Silk Touch... Concealer, wait, liquid touch brightening concealer as an eyelid primer and I'm just gonna blend that in and we are going to get started with the eyeshadow and today we're gonna be using the Discovery palette. It is pretty cute. It has some like nice shades in there. I'm gonna dip into the shade Happy first. It's like this muted dusty pink type of color and I'm gonna use a fluffy brush and this is gonna be our crease shade. I think I'm just gonna create like a warm, simple, smoky eye today. Ooh, going on really nicely though. Although I was kind of making fun of the names a little bit earlier and I stand behind what I said, I do at least like that they are consistent. Like this pink shade here matches the pink blush, Happy, very cute. We also have Joy, the eyeshadow, which matches the Joy blush. So I do like that although some of the names are a little crazy, I do at least like that they're keeping them cohesive throughout different products. So that way the customers can kind of pick and choose their favorites that they love and you can create cute looks as well. So I do like that. I'm gonna grab a little bit of Love, which is like a kind of burnt, warm red shade. And I'm gonna put this in the outer corner. I mean, this middle glitter shade is obviously stunning. What is it called? It is called Splendor. It's really beautiful. It's calling my name. However, it's like a dark metallic, like, silvery brown, which I honestly don't think will be very flattering with this look. Like this doesn't really make sense in the color story here, if I'm being completely real. Yeah, let's just, okay, I guess we're just gonna try it and see and hope for the best here. Oh no. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna use this shade first. This is the shade Hope. And I'm gonna use this as like a, a cut crease base. And then I'm gonna try tapping the glitter on top. That might look a little bit better. Now let's do a little bit of Splendor on top. I don't know if I'm real, I don't know if I'm feeling this glitter formula, which is crazy because this like looks insane in the pan, but it just wasn't really sticking to my eyelid. And I feel like I could go without this or just make it like full impact, right? Like if I'm gonna do a glitter, bitch, I want glitter. All right, that is one of my rare eyes all complete. I'm gonna go ahead and do the one off camera quickly to get them to match and I'll be right back to finish off the rest of the look. I got both eyes to match and I definitely stand behind my thoughts on the palette from before. Moving along to the liner and mascara. We have two more products to try. Starting off with our perfect Strokes Matte Liquid Liner. Here is what she looks like. And I'm definitely excited for this because I'm always in the market for a new liquid liner. We're just gonna do a simple wing. <gasps> Ooh, wow. The body of the liner is actually really, really thick at its base, as you guys can see, but the tip is so, so tiny and precise. Look at how like cute and tiny that wing is, but it's still so sharp. Okay, off to a very good start. Let's continue on. 
Okay. I'm really impressed. Okay, now let's say a prayer and get the other eye to match. I am really, really impressed with this liner. I don't know if it's because I just mentioned that I needed a new favorite liquid liner, but this definitely just got added to the list of contenders because that looks amazing. It's very black, it's very pigmented, it didn't skip at all. And look at how sharp I was able to get those points. 10 out of 10. Woo, that was a good one. All right, so for mascara today, we're gonna be using the Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes Universal Volumizing Mascara. I've never tried this mascara before, so this is going to be another first impression. I have heard lots of great reviews of this on social media. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Okay, I am really, really liking this mascara. I completely disagree that this is a volumizing mascara though. I would definitely say that this is giving me more lengthening than it is volumizing, which I prefer. That's not a bad thing, that is not a bad thing. This could be a new favorite as well. Now that the eyes are all done, we're so close to the end of this makeup routine and we're gonna do a step next that I have not done in quite a while and that is going to be a highlighter. Normally I skip this all together and I just like to use a kind of liquid or cream blush on top of everything to melt everything together. But this highlighter has been going so viral on social media, it has been insane. So I had to try it out and honestly, I can see why. Look at how fucking pretty that looks. It literally looks like a silk pillow. Luxurious, expensive, rich person's pillow. It's so pretty, so, so, so pretty. I picked up the shade Mesmerize, which is like a beautiful champagne-y pink. And I'm just gonna grab a little brush and we're going to go right in and see how this wears on the face. See, I don't even wear highlighter anymore. I really don't care for it, but holy fucking shit, that is one of the prettiest formulas that I've ever tried in my life. That looks so bomb. It is extremely reflective and pretty, but doesn't have that like glittery type of look that so many highlighters do. It really does look like a glow from within. Oh my God, that is stunning. Holy shit. We are so close to the end, you guys. We have a couple of different lip products to choose from today. Now, Rare Beauty just released these new lip oils. I've already done a review on my TikTok and spoiler alert, they're really, really Sorry about that. I've been doing some more research into these because the way that the formula described was kind of interesting. It was like, oh, this is a gel formula that turns into like a an oil. And everybody was like, mm, I don't know about that. And upon trying it, I agreed. And there was a really interesting TikTok that I saw theorizing. Somebody suggested that they probably started developing these about two years ago when lip tints were super, super trendy. But now that they are out of style and lip oils are in, they use the same exact formula and just called it a lip oil instead. Conspiracy theory. <gasps> really, really enjoyed this product, but a lip oil, it is definitely not. But we also have, you know, some lip liners and a regular, just nice matte lipstick. So maybe I'll do a lip liner first and then I'll do one of the oils. I'm gonna use the lip liner in the shade, fun. The lip liner formula is okay. I'm really, really loving this color on myself. I think it looks so fucking pretty, but the formula is a little bit creamier than I would want it to be. Personally, I like a more drier lip liner because I feel like it's gonna stay a lot better, but I digress. Let's go in with our Rare Beauty Lip Oil. I said this on my TikTok already, but I'll reiterate the same thought here. I love this formula. It is really, really nice. It's very lightweight, but still somehow feels extremely creamy, which is like a weird sensation. Um, it dries down to like a nice sort of consistency consistency, it's not too sticky, really love overall. And last but not least, you guys, I'm gonna set my face in place using the Rare Beauty Setting Spray. I'm sure there's a crazy name attached to this, but I've had this one in my collection for quite a long time now, so I don't have the box anymore. And this is my final makeup look with my full face of Rare Beauty. I'm really excited to see what you guys think down below, so definitely make sure you leave me a comment, but my final thoughts are that I am really, really impressed. Almost every single product we tried today was really, really phenomenal. And the only product that I would absolutely not recommend and would skip out on would have to be the Rare Beauty Beauty setting powder. I had to do a lot of work to fix it up. It literally turned my concealer orange. I definitely would skip out on this one. There are a lot better setting powders on the market, but everything else definitely gets a massive thumbs up for me. And speaking of thumbsing up, I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Like I said, I've been getting requested to do this for so long now, so I hope that you guys loved watching it. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below. If you have not already, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button as well and come join the family and click that bell icon next to it so you guys never miss an upload from me. If you want to follow me on my other platforms, my TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter are all just James Charles, and my makeup TikTok account is J Charles Makeup. Make sure you guys are also keeping your eyes peeled on all my different social accounts. I've been dropping a lot of different hints and a lot of stuff about the brand is coming very, very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I love you so much. A soft pinch from me. I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye.